Hey guys, hope you're doing well today. So as you saw in the title, today's video is about the dangers of MIG welding. We've got a classic example here of a non-fused weld. So let's dive into this and I'll show you what's going on. What I've got here is this little single bottom plow. It's a three point hitch. It's nowhere near heavy duty to begin with. But what happened is the plow part has broken off so before I ground anything or wire brush any paint off I wanted to show you that we have just the edge of the metal so the welds themselves just peeled right off that's the entire weld so you can see the edge of the metal there just a little bit of the edge of the metal is gone here, but the weld pretty much just peeled right off. So you can see here the weld itself is broken. It should have, this is quite a bit thicker. So it should have ripped this metal before breaking the weld. <clears throat> Let me wire brush this and I'll bring you back in so you can see a little better because this is actually really important to know and we'll discuss why this happened. somewhere between Progresso and Morazan and Honduras so espresso Americano got my coffee let's give it a go that's pretty good we'll give that a 7.2 out of 10 all right you got this cleaned up it's really not looking any better but hopefully you can see where that weld is broke so there's a couple problems here. The biggest problem, and this is the most common with MIG, you can see this is not right shiny metal. I just took the paint off, but it still has mill scale on it. Same here. So the issue with this is short circuit MIG does not weld through mill scale very well at all. So mill scale and steel have a pretty similar melting point. It varies depending on the metal. So this is actually not uncommon. The other problem is, is you can see the weld stuck to the thinner metal. So this is probably eighth inch where this is like five sixteenths. And this thing was made in a production environment. So they have the welder set to weld this thinner metal without burning through. And we did get a little bit there, but you can see the weld just peeled right off. That whole weld just peeled off. So that's two major problems with MIG welding. Now I'm specifically talking about short circuit MIG, not spray arc, not dual shield. This is strictly for short circuit MIG that I'm talking about. <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is clean all this up and I'm gonna MIG weld it, but we're gonna do it the right way. Okay, I got all the weld ground off so when you're doing these repairs grind all the old weld off get that stuff out of the way it's not doing you any good we got bright shiny metal so this piece is a little bent but it actually fits really good this is just a cheap little plow so we could quickly get up to the cost of this plow with a shop rate so I could straighten this, but it's not worth the time and what it would cost to straighten it. It's going to function just fine. 
it fits surprisingly well with it being bent. And I also noticed a couple of cracks here. So we're gonna take care of those and try to get this done and save the customer a little money. I already got my welder set up. So we're gonna go in pretty hot. As you can see, 23.4 volts. As you can see, 23.4 volts, 562 inches a minute. And I'm running 030 wire. So this is actually pretty hot for that eighth inch metal. But the last thing I want to do is go in with a cold weld and try it and be too cold. Because then it's going to create a weak spot. So I will start welding with that setting and see how it works. I may back it off, but let's give it a go because it's two, diff two different thicknesses. But this is the thickest you can weld, so this doesn't really matter. But we are going in pretty hot. That was quite hot. So now I've dropped it to 22.4 volts, 531 inches a minute. I've given myself the advantage for rotating this to a horizontal position. Can't always do this, but take advantage of it when you can. Get my first pass in. Had a little trouble where I had a gap. The setting worked good where I had a good fit up. So I'm gonna grind this off and do a weave over it to try to give it a little bit of weld reinforcement there. Alrighty. That turned out really good. So I got a little bit of extra strength. I know it's not a lot. So I'll weld the other side and then I'm going to weld these small areas. They don't give a lot of strength, but I'm going to weld everything I can to try to give this thing the best chance of success. There it is. So that took probably 45 minutes to do this repair. Uh, these would not crack. It was just the paint that was cracked where that was stressed. So, but I still ground it out, re-welded those. So I have a lot more confidence in this. It's not a great design to begin with. It is what it is, but this is a uh, just a cheap little plow for a little tractor. So we're not gonna reinvent the wheel here. So I hope you got something out of this video. Your MIG welder is not dangerous, but the way you're using it very well could be. So pay attention to the mill scale, you're fit up and your settings. Take the time and do it right. I appreciate you watching. If you would, give me a like and subscribe. And remember, you were made for a purpose. And we'll catch you on the next one.